Hi, and good morning. Welcome to the What We Need Spotlight interview series. We would like to thank you for being available for this session and for giving us your time. I would now request you to please tell us your name, where are you located, which organization you're associated with, and you can please briefly tell us about the organization's work. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Richa. And uh, thank you, TCI, for having uh, us uh, participate in the spotlight interviews. I'm Kavita Nair. I am from Bapu Trust for Research on Mind and Discourse. Bapu Trust works out of Pune, Maharashtra. It's located in India. Uh, we work in low-income communities of Pune City uh, through a flagship program called uh, Seher Community Mental Health and Inclusion Program. At the national level, we offer trainings on programming for inclusion. And currently, we are working with 11 partners from Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and parts of rural Maharashtra. Uh, we understand uh, mental health, psychosocial distress, and disability to be caused by social determinants, poverty, gender inequality, structural inequality, lack of food, social support systems, and discrimination. Uh, and we believe that uh, to be able to address psychosocial disabilities, we need to work on the social determinants to support the individual uh, for their community inclusion. Uh, our work uh, at the Bapu Trust is guided by literature and practice on intersectionality. And we actively reflect on uh, intersections of class, caste, religious beliefs, gender, and more. Uh, and look up to the uh, CRPD for guidance while working with persons with psychosocial disabilities in the community. Thank you, Kavita. Um, so the next question is that there has been a lot of discussion around spreading awareness, but then what is the type of awareness and sensitization that is needed for an outcome of inclusion of persons with psychosocial disabilities? Uh, what are the kind of messages and topics that need to be covered? Uh, in our view and uh, our experience, Richa, um, awareness and sensitization need to be driven by content which uh, where the diversity of disability experiences and disability sensitivity, engaging with di different kinds of uh, stakeholder groups in the communities can be done. So the awareness content should be facilitated keeping these couple of indicators in mind. We are trying to refresh our own community designs, uh, community development designs to see how far we can stretch uh, the awareness wing of our program uh, on the topic of inclusion. And we do this, uh, do this through our SALT program. It's called the SALT program. Uh, the awareness strategies we do are inclusive of all and existing uh, stakeholder groups within a neighborhood and a community. So we engage with uh, the person, the family, their uh, neighborhoods, community leaders, community-based organizations, a number of service providers who are found in the local community, uh, the government. And we offer them a range of uh, awareness uh, strategies. In offering a range of awareness strategies, uh, we are able to build bridges with different kinds of stakeholder groups to have uh, some kind of an engagement and dialogue our grassroots try to create dialogue with uh, key stakeholders on messages of uh, inclusion. For example, first and foremost, giving information to stakeholders on rights of persons with psychosocial disability. Then uh, challenging, uh, challenging the stereotypical attitudes, prejudices that communities have towards persons with psychosocial disability. We call on stakeholders through our awareness programs to combat and end violence and institutionalization of persons with psychosocial disability. We encourage uh, dialogue with stakeholders on recognizing contributions of the person, contributions in their own family, contribution to neighborhoods, contribution to the community at large. And uh, we also, I think, uh, through the awareness strategies, we try and garner community support and community responses towards the person with psychosocial disabilities and towards their families. In our view, uh, we see community processes as a support process for persons with psychosocial disability. And this message seeps deep into our uh, community awareness strategies through a number of innovative methods so that they are accessible 
to different kinds of constituencies engaging with them. So we use posters, songs, dance, street play, games, quiz, uh, put up public notices and so on. Okay. Thank you, Kavita. And then can you share some good practice examples of awareness and sensitization activities from Bapu Trust's community works? I think other than the practices which I have already mentioned, our awareness programs use a lot of arts and play and uh, culturally relevant creative methods so that the field actions that, they are, that are taken in awareness, they are participatory and they are collaborative. We have grassroots uh, carders who have a stake in their own communities. You know, they are community members. Often they are people with lived experiences themselves who have faced experiences of marginalization and exclusion because they are emerging from the community. They are you know, kind of leaders from the community. They are instrumental in giving direction to their communities in terms of what needs to be done to support persons with psychosocial disability. And this they carry into their awareness strategies. By doing this, uh, they are able to connect people with each other. They are able to bind the community together around certain uh, areas of concern. They, they are able to have discussions which will benefit not just the person with the psychosocial disability, but the community as a whole. They are able to mobilize uh, communities and different stakeholders in the communities for uh, justice. They are able to do a number of field activities to strengthen the social capital between the person with psychosocial disability and the larger community. They are able to bring in um, uh, skills and techniques for building resilience of communities on well-being and inclusion. Uh, and in this way, they are. I think we do approach uh, awareness and sensitization through a very, very multi-dimensional approach uh, to psychosocial disability inclusion. So that is uh, something that we focus on. Uh, community members, they value and appreciate the inputs which are brought in by the grassroots or by persons with lived experiences. And they are they then become over a period of time, they, uh, they are able to uh, open up to exploring partnerships. They are able to uh, engage with the program in a sustained way. And uh, the inclusion of not only support giving and support responses, but the sorry the the outcome of not only support responses and support uh, um, mechanisms, but also the pathways to inclusion open up through these engagements. Um, and how do they do it? I think to give you a very very practical example, like I said, you know we use a lot of arts based or play culturally relevant methods for doing these activities. So one example is, is, you know, they pick up a song, a song which is, say, popular in the community. You know, it's a popular number. And uh, they give it a psychosocial inclusion twist, which means that the lyrics will be intertwined with uh, certain key messages that they need to deliver in the community. For example, social and gender roles and how these impact life circumstances and this may lead to exclusion or experiences of exclusion. When this kind of lyrics in the form of a song, it's rendered in public or social places, women will get opportunities not just to join into the song, uh, singing the songs along with the grassroots, but they're also able to add in their own messages uh, in solidarity with the song's theme. And this opens up community spaces for collaboration, for dialogue, uh, rather than for confrontation. So, yeah, so these are some ways in which we take awareness and sensitization to our communities here in Pune. Thank you, Kavita. Um, thank you for giving us such a comprehensive and a nuanced overview of what awareness and sensitization can look like if they're directed towards the outcome of community inclusion. Uh, and thank you for sharing practical examples from Bapu Trust's field work in the communities. We thank you again for agreeing to participate in this interview series. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, TCI. Thank you.